just referring to my list of offensive things I can cover today. Everything I say offends everyone. Yeah. So if you correct people, apparently you're shitting on them. Or you correct them? Yeah. Isn't that what it like if is? I'm pointing out like inefficiencies in movement or like showing people like this is a bad exercise, this is like something you shouldn't do. It's like you think that that exercise is related to them. It's like their fucking brother or sister. Like talk about like talk about dumbbell rows like that, man. Wicked, wicked, wicked. There's lots of variations of dumbbell rows. I'm sure everyone knows that. You guys aren't morons. Like everyone who seems to make content on Instagram and TikTok and all these things seems to talk to everyone watching like they're a complete idiot. Like they've never touched a weight. And and all of a sudden I'm exposing you to this new world of like dumbbells. Ooh, and like a barbell, like. Like, just talk to people like they fucking understand what they're doing. I would assume someone here is watching has worked out before. They know this is a dumbbell. Like, guys, we're going to take a 40-pound dumbbell, and we're going to stand over. Like, holy fuck, man. But, yeah, there's obviously all these variations to dumbbell rows. People do them off benches. We've talked about this before. Like, one knee on a bench here doing whatever it is. I think this is the worst, probably the worst variation you could do, but it depends on your ability level and your, what you're trying to do, right? Like you're not gonna get much, you're not gonna get much chest lift on this. It's gonna be more of a stricter dumbbell row. So it might be great for someone who's learning just to like kind of limit their range and help them understand like you're just pulling your arm up. Hence the word row, we're just rowing the dumbbell up. And maybe if that's something you're, you can go heavier here, maybe you can isolate better. If you're trying to hit more upper outer lat. You're not trying to really arch and get a lot of, a lot of upper, a lot of uh, low lat. So you can really pin in one spot here and just rock and just get, let that, let that lat hang and just rock and pull, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Just not something I choose to do. I used to do it when I was younger, but as I got older, I found that either doing dumbbell rows off the rack, which a lot of people do, or off a bench like this is what I prefer. Just because I'm able to get, I think a lot of people make the mistake when they're doing dumbbell rows, when they're doing them. So if I'm gonna be here and I'm doing a dumbbell row, a lot of people, when they put their weight on something, it's almost like they're pushing, like if, I, if there was no bench here, it's like I'm pushing this bench forward, like I'm trying to slide it to the, to the rack. What I really wanna be doing is pushing down on it. So I wanna create this, this feeling of being being pushing down on something. So I'm almost leaning my weight here and I'm bent in my elbow. My elbow on this side doesn't have as much range because of my shoulder, but you literally should be here. So I should be caved in to create more length here. If I'm here, I can't create as much length as I can here. I can get more depth in my pull, right? So if I want to do that, there's a lot of guys, I get, guys and girls I get, and I, I was taught to pick up off the floor and pin off floor here, right? So when you pick up, like we've talked about in prior videos, it's not about just picking the dumbbell up and holding it like this and then just ripping this thing up or doing the swing thing. Like, don't get me wrong. You're going to activate doing a swing pull. Like, there's no doubt you're going to feel something. Something's going to happen. But again, this is like training wheel stuff. We want to get away from that and understand that when we do a pull, we want our elbow to break. I need my elbow to break, I need my chest to lift, I need my back to arch and contract in my lat, right? So, for different people, I explained this the other day when I was training someone, let me just wipe my sweat, where it's dripping everywhere. But, um, obviously if we set up straight here, like a lot of people wanna be in these train tracks with their feet, where they're just kind of moving in straight lines. It's harder to get in this position where I can kind of rock like tilt my shoulder to my lat, which is what I prefer. I don't want to be, I don't want to be squared up with my weight. I don't want to do this because I don't get much low lat and I'm really pulling into upper back and rhomboids, right? So I want to get more of an angle for some people. It might mean turning your feet. So I'm literally facing my feet this way and my weight is over here. And I'm going to base this dumbbell right off the tip of that inside, that outside foot. And I'm going to be tilted to this side. So that's all, this shoulder's free to move now and I can rock. 
So I'm not going forward and going back. I'm not pulling up and then ending up here. My shoulder locks into my body here. My elbow locks in, and my chest stays up. And I drive into the bench. Up through. Up through. So I'm driving hard off this foot. I'm pushing off this hand to keep myself up high to get length on my drop, right? It's more of a direct line into my lat. So if you guys and girls can't find your lat, it's because you're literally setting up in a position where your lat's so closed. So if I'm gonna sit up here and I'm gonna lock into my lat here, my lat's nowhere near open. Like, yes, it's open. The weight's hanging and it's pulling my arm down, but I can get way more range instead of being here, then being here and then pulling my chin back tucking my shoulder down, look how open my back is. And it's a straight line. I break elbow from here, pull, pull, pull. A little arch, drive. So I'm not trying to create this like massive pull where I'm like, ah, ah. I just wanna lock onto my lat at the bottom and move on it. Like everything else we do with lat, I want my lat to be open and then I wanna move on it. So if this is 40 pounds, whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. If it turns into this is like 70 or 80, eventually, which I'll go up and do in sets. I'll try and go heavier. It's like the range might be limited to a right about here. If I'm locked in here, it might be here. I might only be moving three or four inches up through here instead of being able to clear, right? But I'm just on lat because my elbow's in, shoulders tucked down. As soon as I shoulders stuck down and elbows in, my head goes wherever I feel the less, least amount of tension in my neck and it pins back my chin, pulling through, up through. So I'm relaxed in the weight. I'm not tense when I'm doing it because it's just my arms swinging and my lat grabbing, right? So there's different hand techniques. It's more important that you guys understand the angle and then you can work on the hand. So if I'm gonna hold a dumbbell, I don't want to hold a dumbbell, like I said, with this overhand grip where my wrist is flat. Because when things start getting hard and I start fucking losing form, it's going to be, uh, uh, it's just snapping, right? I want to be wrist on it, palm squeezing and palm up. So I'm coiling that palm back at me when I curl up. When I rock up, my palm is breaking into me up through. That meaning when I pull, if I'm pulling with this hand and I rise up through here, I have to lift higher to get more pull. I can't do this and just fall into my pull and end up getting tired and going, oh. Because if I pop here, I can't. I have to either get up higher or the weight drops. But we're still on lat, right? Because we're in this extended position. So people will argue with me with that. I'm right, you're wrong, so it doesn't matter. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's like, agree with me or don't disagree with me. But it's like, people need to understand, you have to find angles that work for you on exercises. Like, I'm be like, oh, I sit up here. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, I'm a bigger guy. There's other big guys training now. If you get them to set up like someone who has no lats, a skinny individual who's like maybe a beginner or even a girl who's, obviously not going to have as much muscle density on their upper body in some cases that's wrong but like in general it's like you have to find an angle where you can you can get your lat i can engage into my lat so even some people i'll have them set up here and find this angle with their foot even if it's just a little tilted open or maybe they're straight here still and they're more curled into their lat here so that i can lock into lat here once i lock into lat here i can set myself up where i want to be so as long as I get this feeling of lat locked in, I can then shift my weight to the hand and rock. Because I am under, I'm aware of where my lat is and I, that I'm on it. So it's not about, oh, 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 pulling. It's like locking on a bicep, right? I wouldn't, I would, if I was doing a bicep curl and I was here, I would hold the weight and I would catch my bicep and I would understand like, okay, it's right about there and then I rock off, rock off. I wouldn't go. You know what I mean? So it's like, do that shit with your other body parts. Full range of motion is great, but it's full range of motion on the muscle being targeted. 
or if we're gonna open that muscle like a lat where a lat's hanging, now that the lat's open, it's gonna be very hard to fully contract that lat without just coming out of posture and relaxing it. So if the lat's gonna stay open, it's not gonna be as big of a pull as if I just relaxed and went, I just like, here. It's like, no, my lat's open now. I'm lifting chest and I'm rocking. I can lock here in midair. That's as far as I can get. If my lat's open and I'm rocking. If I don't flare my lat, so play with that on your dumbbell rows. And you can do it off the bench. You can do it any fucking way you want to do it, to be very honest with you. I can literally do this dumbbell row. I can find position off this low rack of this dumbbell. So for some fucking unknown reason, you have nothing at home or where you are to work out with that's higher than seven inches off the ground, you can do it off here because I'm even closer to the ground now, so I can just look on top of my lat here, find my position where I'm locked in, and drive. It's the same thing as if I'm up here. Just a longer line. Because if I was standing here up tall doing it, it's the same shit. I'm locked in, so it doesn't matter where my hand is. It's just gonna dictate how high I can lift off and how much upward pressure I can get. When we're doing a row, I'm not trying to drive you teach people this forward motion to make them understand that there's this rocking in the hips and this clearing of the chest, but it's literally an up and down motion. So it's literally an up, up. And my chest happens to be arch, my back happens to be arching. So it looks like I'm going forward. And I'm literally coming up, up through things, springing knees up to keep it on that lat, on that line, right? And we start really focusing on the rocking back and forth, that's when your dumbbell starts doing this shit. I'm going. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I want to be on a lat. And I want to be tucked into my shoulder here and driving. That's it, so I'm up through things. Bend knees, up through. I don't want to get all that other stuff. If you want to get more upper lat and rhomboids and rear delt and really work on power, then yeah, swinging movement is gonna be for you because you're gonna be able to generate a lot more force. And that's a good way to do it because we need to work the whole back. Well, when I think about a dumbbell row, I think about isolation of low lat. I don't think about it as like just working the left side of my back. It's like, no, I wanna focus on, because I'm doing other things to hit different areas of my back. So it's a more finite, like focused approach. It's not that I'm saying, People shouldn't do shit. You should do whatever you want. Literally do whatever you want. It does not fucking matter to me. Do whatever you want. If something I'm gonna show you kind of clicks for you, and you wanna take one little piece of that, whether it's like the shoulder locked down in that, or my elbow position is in, so we don't have this flared elbow position. You'll, even if you take nothing away from that, understand that if you guys and girls understand this position of tucking your elbow in, it will be a game changer. So you can keep any fucked up form you want. Do whatever the fuck you feel like doing. Off the bench, off the floor, whatever the fuck it is you wanna do. Don't do this though. Don't flare elbow. Don't pulling elbow. I wanna be here and lock elbow in. If I lock elbow in and I tuck shoulder into my body, so I retract my shoulder and tuck my elbow, now I'm moving on a straight line up through, up through. If you keep that idea on every row, you're gonna get more lat than you are like fucking basically rear delts and God knows what else you're gonna be hitting trap. You know, those are just some tips. Take them or leave them.